gentlemen, today we will have a review of uh, Asus 4K screen. Screen here, as you can see, uh, 32 inch model. This is the front Pro Art series, high dynamic range, pure color accuracy, 1000 HDR. Uh, first, let's see how big the screen is. This is my, my old screen. Pretty, as you can see, the things on the back are the local dimming zones. Here is the back of it. You can rotate like that uh, in different uh, degrees, different levels. It has tons of ports. Uh, also, it can go up and down. Here we'll go down. Here we'll go down. This is the stand. This is made of some sort of metal, and this this thing is plastic. Uh, it have uh, several HDMI's. Uh, I think, to be more precisely. 4 HDMI's, here are the ports, barely visible here. from here. Here are the control, control knobs, which you can see, so, let me slide it up, okay, here we are, the control knobs, and here Asus designed by Asus in Taiwan let's see the picture in different modes here we have the picture uh, in the best possible mode which is uh, also it have blue light filter five levels here we are on different level different different level Different level, different level. So right now we are on the standard mode. I'm not sure if if you will be able to see the difference from the camera, but there is a quite difference. Right now we are on the RGB mode. Right now we will be on Adobe RGB. Uh, here we are on a rack, DCP, P3 mode, HDR mode, you can see quite different here, uh, user mode, user mode, my calibration tool is missing, um, I will stick on Adobe RGB mode because I like it the most. Again, I will also stick on level 5 blue light filter, but let me show you more options. Brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, color, temperature, gamma, advanced settings, 6 A's, A's, hue, saturation, gain, again 6 A's, which is quite huge for such monitor, sharpness, trace free, aspect control, Vivid Pixel and other options. You can actually play several sources on the screen and divide it. Here is picture by picture mode, PVP mode. So we have four HDMI's, Thunderbolt, display port, USBs, splendid demo mode. So we have echo mode. It makes the picture darker, I don't know why, I turn it off, adaptive sync, dynamic dimming, HDR, different options, power saving, several options, OSD settings, several options, language, display port stream, keylog, power indicator, ambient effects, it makes the screen same as your ambient, ambient temperature information. So let me uh, 
return here is the screen asus pro R display hdr professional one 31 inches 30 384 zones local dimming a lot of options so 3 hd premium x-ray display port tool huge contrast ratio multiple hdr formats white color gamma thunderbolt black magic design extreme contrast astonishing realism well, again a lot of options capture every detail here we are on full hd and here we are on the 4k a lot more details capture every detail a brighter more like live viewing experience ultra hd premium hdr deepest blacks brightest whites bright of tribute of your pictures high color fidelity for truly expensive hues asus pro calibration technology thunderbolt for versatile ultra fast connections picture in picture picture in picture peep peep Quick virtual scale, protect your eyes, Asus iCare technology, 5 levels. Uh, flicker free technology, without flicker free technology. Ergonomic design. I will show you all of the ports and different specs at the moment. Here are the specs. As you can see, 4K, a lot of options. HDR10, LAG, hybrid log gamma, 8 modes, plus the calibrated options. So basically, you have, I think, more options than a TV. For sure, we also have integrated speakers, which I don't use. Thunderbolt, HDMI 4 ports, display port, USB 3.0, ABC, and it's great around 17 kilograms. News and awards. Here are some two pages of awards for the screen um, my previous one was ASO Full HD so it's a huge difference compared to this one so if you like my videos keep watching sharing subscribing and till next time excellent screen per price ratio